Good evening. Welcome to the History Department at Harris Academy of Beckenham. I'm going to hand you over now to some of our fantastic team to talk you through the amazing offer that we have. Good evening, I'm Miss Rasheed. So we in Year 7 look at local study in Beckenham, what it was like through the different ages. We also look at Islamic civilization, looking at empires of a different uh, part of the world and how they spread power through conquest and culture. We also look into the Romans, Norman conquest, rats and rebels and the Tudors. Good evening, my name is Miss Alexander. I'm going to talk you through the Year 8 curriculum in history. We start off with the English Civil War. We then look at the Industrial Revolution and how life changed, workhouses, etc. Before we move on to slavery and then leading us to the American Civil Rights Movement, we're going to look at different American civil rights leaders and eventually also at how slavery and segregation was abolished. And in year nine, we look at some of our 20th century events. So we look at the First World War, the Second World War, before moving on to the Holocaust and what happens in the Cold War. We start off Key Stage 4 with our thematic study with uh, crime and punishment through time before moving on to Queen Elizabeth and looking at her early reign from 1558 to 1598. We then continue, usually in year 10, at looking at the rise of Nazi Germany. We then continue after this to look at the aftermath of World War II and think about the events of the Cold War, of which there were lots. And completing our history journey at Key Stage 5, we study some fantastic different areas. We look at 20th century America, focusing on the civil rights movement. We look at the changing quality of life and the development of sort of the political institutions of the presidency. We then look at the apartheid years in South Africa. The topic itself is called Apartheid to a Rainbow Nation. We see the end of apartheid come at the very end of the 20th century. Recently, we've been learning the problems that Elizabeth I faced at her accession in 1558. Elizabeth's reign, she faced many problems, two of them being gender, marriage and legitimacy. In legitimacy, the Pope didn't allow Elizabeth to have the same privileges as Henry's first children. In gender marriage, because she was a female, she also didn't have the same privileges as males in 1558, making it hard for her to be queen. Two problems that Elizabeth faced during her reign were money and Puritans. Her, the, her predecessor, Mary, left her with a lot of debt, around £300,000. Also, Puritans in Mary's reign went over to the Netherlands as they were scared of, her, of being executed by her. They then came back and thought they could rule the country. The last problem that Elizabeth faced as queen was easily threats from abroad. She received threats from Spain, France and Scotland as they were all Catholic countries and they hated the idea of a Protestant country. Okay boys, what I want you to do is put your five problems in order of significance. How big a problem were these issues to Elizabeth? I want you to put the one you think is the greatest threat at the end of the row. In about 30 seconds time, I'm going to come to you and ask you the reason why you put them in this order. Ready? You have 30 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Done? Stand at the end, stand next to your last one. Eddie, there was a quick switch at the end there. Yeah. Mm. You've gone abroad, why? I picked abroad as for the fact that all the threats from abroad cost money for the fact of legitimacy and gender and marriage. So I believe all the other problems came under abroad. Well, why? Because the fact that all the threats from Spain, Scotland and France, they all led to the need for money, the question of legitimacy, and the fact that she was hated because she was a woman. And finally, all the Puritans came from Europe. So that's why I believe the voice was more of a reason. Ooh, nice. Thomas, do you agree or not? I disagree because to be able to deal with all of those problems, you need money. And Elizabeth was left with an empty treasury and therefore had no money. How much debt was she in? £300,000. Did she have much of a navy? Uh, she didn't, but she managed to build it up in the end. Oh, some money isn't that much of a problem. <laughs> and you've gone with neither money or abroad, you've gone with gender and marriage, why? I think gender and marriage is more important because in the House of Lords, because she was a female, most of them disagreed with her, so she wouldn't get any money, and if she didn't have any money, she wouldn't be able to fight clashes abroad. Therefore, that makes it the most important reason. I chose history because I like learning about past stories and how they link and affect to today's world. I chose history because when we write our essays, it helps us consolidate our learning. Also, it aids us in other 
I enjoy studying history because when we learn about the stories, it lets us analyse its place in history.